Hi Aquarius, welcome to Prefer Her Tarot, where I love to see that you prefer me. First, I would like to thank you guys for clicking on this video. Of course, if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button for me. And if you guys want to be notified when I upload new videos, go ahead and click that notification bell. So we're about to hop into the sign of Aquarius. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. Also, remember to not get caught up on the turn of the cards. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Let's get into this reading, Aquarius, and see what's going on with you guys. I don't know, I feel a little heavy energy, but let's see. What's the overall energy for the sign of Aquarius? Please and thank you. The Emperor card came out of reverse. The Page of Cups is here. And then we have the Emperor card in reverse. I feel someone is, there's a sense of, um, there's a lack of control. Lack of control. Someone feels like they don't have control. Will of Fortune, ready for some change at the bottom of the deck. The emperor in reverse. Someone's not feeling like they are a ball sore. Someone's look, I don't know, page of cups. That's an offer, message of love, not being afraid to love, being open to love. Younger Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy could be a little immaturity when it comes down to love. But let's get some more messages. Aquarius, what's the challenges? What's the challenge for Aquarius? Page of Pentacles. Pentacles offer. Offering immaturely, accepting immature offers. King of Wands. Oh, King of Wands, and then we have the Devil behind it. So Aquarius. So I'm honestly feeling that someone here was involved with a person who wasn't giving them much. You probably wasn't giving them much in the relationship. You guys take this how it resonate. Someone um, wants a, a, a message of love, wants a, an apology from someone who may have made them feel like they were going to be in some type of connection, some, something going to be real, something was going to be stable, and it wasn't. It was like pretty much all about sex, a bond, something. Something was very weak and low vibe. Let's get more Aquarius. Matters of the heart for the sign of Aquarius, please. Temperance card. Yeah, you're trying to control your um your temper. You try not to go off. You're trying to be patient. Sagittarius energy. It could the Sag could be involved with Aries, Taurus with the Emperor card. In reverse, the will of fortune. Once again, change. Fortunate change and it changes in events. You're ready for something different. Someone may be hooked trying to hold on too tightly let's move forward all right any blockages to love and success for aquarius queen of pentacles capricorn towards virgo energy nurturing good parent good with finances truth and clarity at the bottom of the deck with the ace of swords i feel like someone has found out the truth about a third party connection something you guys, do you? I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really feeling this energy. It's really like, you know how it's being choked up, almost ready to cry. Someone's probably trying to avoid this energy. This could be how someone's feeling about you, or you feeling about another person, but we have to move forward. Uh, but someone's seeing some truth that brings some type of pain and ready to leave and it could be borderline anxiety and depression it's up at night not knowing what to do <sighs> let's move forward what needs Aquarius attention right now what needs Aquarius is attention the most so thing is popping out I'm gonna just take that the six of cups maybe your children <sighs> thinking about the good times thinking about where you used to be happy uh, the hermit card here at the bottom of the deck prayer meditation going within siblings mending a situation from the past from the past with the six of cups someone's thinking about the past memories of the past something there we're going to get clarifiers of course right so Aquarius how is Aquarius being seen 
in your head not knowing what to do confused self-imposed imprisonment arguments battles competition wow there you are right there though Aquarius with the star card you're trying to follow your intuition and you're trying to get towards your destiny you're trying to receive peace and clarity I see I don't know if it's a masculine energy that's feeling betrayed. Someone's feeling used. Okay, I'm, I'm, that's what it is. Someone's feeling used. It's not for everyone, okay? But I do know I'm, I am feeling that. And not knowing how to move forward from this or something. What's the advice for Aquarius? Seven of Pentacles, pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Ask the question is why. Why are you feeling this way? Why are you dealing with this situation? Why are you in this situation in the first place? Why are, why am I investing? Should I continue to invest in this situation? Three of Pentacles continue to work on yourself. Because there may be some lack thereof energy within yourself. A lack, a, a lack mentality. Poverty mindset. Being left out in the cold. Uh, manifesting the things that you truly want in your life. Pampering yourself. Taking care of yourself. Is, there's a lack in that energy. It's time to pull it back and take care of yourself so you can reach that ten of pentacles energy that you're looking for. This is what I'm feeling here, but let's move forward. What's the most likely outcome if uh, Aquarius takes the advice? The king of pentacles. This here's the match to the queen of pentacles right here. This is the challenge though. Oh, wait. Two of wands at the bottom of the deck. Taking a different approach. Creating a new path. Someone's trying to get to move towards something, have to make a decision, have to be clear in that decision. But once you pull it back, I feel like that's that's the time to pray, meditate, go up, go within, see what's what, and then I don't know if this person may come into your life, may approach you, um, you may with, you may meet up with people who get you to this King of Pentacles energy. Excuse me. Let's get some clarifiers. Should I do the clip? Okay, let's do the emperor in reverse, in reverse by itself. No, let's do it together. Clarify the page of cups and the emperor in reverse as a combination, please. That's what I was feeling. That's what I was feeling. We have the ace of pentacles here. And then we have the hierophant. Someone wants to off, offer something. There's an opportunity. You're being guided. You're being led. Or someone's being guided, being led. Someone knows that someone messed up. There's an apology that needs to be made. Someone feels less of a person, less of, feels less control, feel less of themselves if they do not take this approach, take this opportunity, take this guidance. Let's move on. I'm going to go back, of course. That's the higher and Ace of Pentacles. I have, to, um, I have to clarify that. That's the way I read. Clarify the page of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles. Working. This is the challenge. Two of Cups. Excuse me. An eye to eye to connect. Eye to eye connection. A soulmate connection at the bottom of the day. Working, working, working on. So you may have, okay, so you may have a gift. You may have a craft. It may be something that you like to do. It may be something that you're trying to create. Yeah. Yeah, you're trying to create the stability, whatever this gift that you have. I see. And uh, this is for some. You're working at it. You're working at it. To become better. You're trying to master this, right? You're trying to be patient. I feel like people will come into your circle. Spirit Source Universe will have you, allow you to meet certain people, like I said, to help you get through. To help you continue to work on whatever this is. Let 
Let's get more. Clarify the temperance. The eight of wands in reverse. Miscommunication. Someone isn't reaching out. Trying to hold back communication. Two of wands. Yeah, someone's trying to hold back communication, I feel. You try not to say something. You try not to say anything. <sighs> try not to move forward. We'll go back. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles, single, independent. Doing your own thing. Five of Cups, someone feeling like they messed up, regretting. Okay, so what I received here is someone fun, young, doing your own thing. This is that and the other. Wasn't thinking about being in a relationship. And it's this is that and the other. Now someone is thinking about this. Now someone's reconsidering. Someone wants this. Someone is feeling like maybe because of all of the fast living that one may have been living is not bringing you this union this soulmate connection that you're looking for it's like something isn't moving forward so you now you're looking at the past of like the way you you've done things moved however it is <laughs> this is what i'm getting here you want this energy be this energy you want this energy, raise your vibration to, to this energy. We'll get more. Let's move forward. Clarify the Six of Cups. Death, change, transformation. Three of Swords, hurt, heartbreak, pain. Ten of Wands, carrying the burdens. Yeah, someone's carrying the burdens of the past of what was, what how things were, uh, how, how, how uh, things were done, how you were moving, whatever it is, you're carrying the burdens of that. It's time to walk away from that. Walk away from that energy. Clear that energy. Let it go. It's pa it's the past. It's time to look forward. We have to see things the way we want to see them in the future, in the next minute, in the next hour. It's time to do things now to start creating our futures, to start manifesting, to see that <laughs> victory after a battle, after taking a leap of faith and not giving up on yourself. Okay. Because it's time that it's times that you probably feel like, okay, you know what? I just want to give up. I understand. But at the same time, you also, you have to think about this. You came this far for what? What I hear, heard the other day, you better, you fail until you succeed. I'm going I'm to I'm fail my way to success. That's, how, that's what happens. People, people mess up. People F up. People go through situations or whatever, but it all, it all, it's all a learning process to help you build. Someone is building a business, trying to build a foundation, wealth, whatever this is. It could be a relationship for others. I don't know what this is for each of you, but for each individual, exactly. For, that's what I'm looking for. Anyways, move forward. <sighs> don't give up on yourself, okay? Things happen because it happened. You reflect. You see now where you want to go. You see now where you don't want to be. It's time to move forward. Let go of the dead weight. Clarify the Eight of Swords. We have new opportunities ahead of us, Aquarius. Have hope and faith. Do not lose this. Because some of you guys uh, feel like, I'm not seeing it happen. It's not working for me. Why isn't it working? Don't lose faith. You have to allow that seed to come through. It's pushing through. But as soon as you say you give up, it's going to give up also. We can't give up on ourselves. No matter how the outside looks. Can't give up on ourselves. Just pray. Go with look at this. Pray. Go within. The hermit card right behind it. Take some time out. Clarify the seven of pentacles. Two of pentacles. Ooh. Juggle indecisiveness. Needing to gain control, balance, in the midst of chaos and confusion, seven of pentacles, falling back, pulling back, the seven and the two of pentacles, nine of pentacles, single, independent, finding your worth within yourself, first and foremost, bringing that wish fulfillment within yourself, 
going, moving away and receiving a peace of mind, getting away from whatever conflict it was. Oh, feeling sorry for yourself and regrets. Let that go. Time to go towards your destiny. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Clarify the King of Pentacles, please. Am I taking all three? The Tower card, the King of Wands, and the Hanging Man. Hanging Man. It's time to go out the way you want. Don't lie to yourself anymore with the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Or watch, um, watch people in regards to your money, finances, documents, all of that. So we have the Tower card, the King of Wands, and the, what's that, the Hanging Man? Something suddenly shifts to push you, to push you, to go towards something. It's almost as if it's a, as if it's a test. Are you do you surely do you surely want this? Are you willing to put in the work to build this back up properly? Gaining a new perspective on a whole situation of deception, lies, theft, betrayal, competition, carrying the weight of others, all of that. It's time to walk away from it all and manifest what you truly want. Clarifying, so, so, so uh, this could this is a marriage for some. Also, not speaking to your spouse, taking some time apart could be a separation or something like that. But let's move forward. Why is the hierophant here? Clarify the hierophant. Six of six of swords. It's like why the arguments? Why are we why are we battling? I need you to receive a piece of mind. I need you to come to me so I can so I can heal you, so I could get you from this conflict, so I can help you see through the see through the illusions. Cause someone has been accepting some BS. Move, moving on. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. No, we're gonna go straight to the Majors. Clarify the um, Death card. Nine of Wands. Not giving up. Change and transformation. Going through this dark period but not giving up on yourself. You remember that? Seeing the truth. Facing reality. <sighs> Letting the painful... Look. Look. It's a painful situation going on. And it's time to just let it in. Let it be Let it be dead. We need to... We want to be happy. We want to we want to be happy with them. We want to see through the see through the see through the illusions. We want to face our fears. Oh, this is the card that came out. I'm, I almost put it at. But yeah, it's time to heal from this heartbreak. Also, that's what I'm feeling with this Ace of Swords and the uh, Three of Swords energy. Addressing issues from the past and why you're hurting, why you feel the way you feel. Clarify the star, the King of Swords. A lack of clarity. You feel like you don't know what to do. You feel like, who? Oh, some things that you've known maybe wasn't true. And it's almost as if you're probably relearning some things. Unlearning to relearning to go towards your destiny and what you're being called to do. But I'm feeling, I'm seeing someone being stuck. Uh, someone, maybe, it's not for all, someone could be incarcerated and trying to figure out a way to reconnect, get out, get some freedom or whatever. That's not for everyone, but I'm feeling, I'm definitely feeling this sense of someone is losing control. Someone feels like they're losing control. And all I can say is, this stuff is probably happening for a reason. Something needs to shift. Something needs to change. But you feel unclear. But I feel like you just need to go within. Pray. Ask for those answers and guidance. You will receive them. You will. Clarify the tower. Just have You just have to, have to listen. Be willing to listen. Clarify the tower. Way too many. I'm not taking all of that. Hurry. I'm already 20 minutes in. Clarify the tower. The chariot. Cancer energy moving forward. Having that willpower and determination, even though it's a whole, whole lot of chaos and BS going on. You're taking the reins of your life. 
you taking a leap of faith. Winning at all costs. That's that conflict, though. Someone's ready to speak their truth. That's your energy also, though, with the Five of Swords, Knight of Swords, Four of Swords, healing. Speaking your truth and healing. Healing from the truth. Healing. Face on reality and healing. It's more here, but let's, let's just move on. Clarify the hanging man. We have the strength card. Having that strength. Yes. And courage. To close out a cycle. To continue to push forward. To see uh, things differently here. Leo energy. Today started Leo season, I believe. The world card. Coming to a close. Ready to go towards something new. Following your intuition and making better choices and decisions. Clarify the chariot. The ace of cups. New love. Something that is emotionally charged. Clarify the strength that's bringing you peace and happiness. We have the four swords heal. Healing. Healing from betrayal. Healing from um, self-betrayal and or betrayal of others. From others. It has something to do with, with, with well, wish fulfillment. Excuse me. I'm guessing how to obtain it. Or what was. Or what you thought was. I'm leaving it here. <laughs> okay, Aquarius. Let's get a message from the wisdom of the oracle. Nope. I have to get it from the mantra deck. That's what I'm being to. The healing mantra. What messages do you have for the sign of Aquarius? What message do you have for the sign of Aquarius? Okay, it's, it's not coming out of my head. Some of you guys watch watch the music you're listening to. Watch the music you're listening to. I don't know if it's going to be a message in there or like redirect or change the music music you're listening to. Okay, so messages for the sign of Aquarius, please. Message for the sign of Aquarius. If you if you um, are into mu music. I'm guessing maybe redirect your focus on who you are trying to reach, your audience, whatever. <laughs> My choices determine how brightly I shine. Expressing free will is so bright you might not be able to see this. Anyways, bottom of the deck it says, I allow myself to be content exactly as I am. So let's read this. Expressing free will. Healing mantra. Here we go. Where free will is expressed, the quality of your experiences is not based on the actions of others, but on how wisely and lovingly each moment is viewed. It doesn't match the unconsciousness of others or fight to have the final word. Whatever. I don't know why it, it, did, it doesn't sound right to me. It doesn't match the unconsciousness of others. There we go. Or fight to have the final word. No, it still didn't, but anyways, I'm moving forward. Instead, free will conveys the brightness of your soul through the sum of your words and actions, even when responding to those who aren't acting their best. This mantra is ideal for overcoming feelings of disempowerment, fulfilling personal goals, and becoming more ambitious. Aquarius, that was your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave a like, share, all of that good stuff. I love you, I love you, I love you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.